Have you ever wondered what it takes to become fluent in Spanish? Let's talk about a few simple habits that help me become fluent. Constantly pushing myself to learn Spanish every single day. When I first started this Spanish learning journey of mine, I was very inconsistent. After college, I wanted to get serious about learning Spanish, but I also wanted to celebrate my graduation by not working so hard and not studying anything. This kind of mentality made me quite lazy and I kept telling myself that, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get serious one of these days. As you can imagine, during this time of inconsistency, my language skills were not increasing that much. But then my language skills increased a lot when every single day I was deciding to learn Spanish. Developing the habit of learning Spanish every single day helped me to develop another habit, which was immersing myself in the Spanish language. Not only could I learn Spanish every single day, but I could learn with so many different methods as well, I could surround myself completely with Spanish. I tried to live my life like a native Spanish speaker would. The language on my cell phone was in Spanish. I was listening to music in Spanish all the time while I was cooking, while I was cleaning, while I was working out. I was reading as much as possible in Spanish. I would read comments online in Spanish, like on Reddit or on YouTube. I was reading news articles in Spanish from different Spanish speaking countries. And I would even read the instruction manuals that were in Spanish of the products that I would buy, like a vacuum. I was listening to the radio in Spanish. I was watching movies and TV shows in Spanish and not just movies that were made for English speakers, but with Spanish subtitles, but ones that were created specifically for a Spanish speaking audience. And of course, I spoke Spanish as much as possible and not just with my Spanish speaking friends, but also with strangers that I would meet when I was out and about. Facing my insecurities head on was also a very good habit that I developed to help me become fluent in Spanish. When I didn't face my insecurities head on and I let them consume me instead, I lost a lot of opportunities to learn Spanish and that definitely did not help to increase my language learning skills. I felt very insecure when I bought this book in Spanish and it was going to be my first attempt at reading a book in Spanish completely and that did not go so well because it was so challenging to comprehend it. This made me very stressed out. It made me very frustrated. And I also thought that I was very dumb because I couldn't comprehend what I was reading. However, the reality wasn't that I was too dumb to comprehend this book in Spanish, but I was just being way too harsh on myself and I wasn't being patient because I just started to read the book, right? So it makes sense that I wouldn't comprehend everything that was going on because I'm just so early into the book. I should have just stuck it out. And I would have learned that reading a book in Spanish is like piecing a puzzle together. And that takes time to do. I had many insecure moments when I was having conversations with Spanish speakers. I was always worried about making mistakes when I was speaking Spanish. And that is because in my mind, I thought that if I was making so many mistakes when I was speaking, then that Spanish speaker that I was talking to would think that I was dumb. To avoid this insecurity, when I was having conversations with Spanish speakers, I would speak as little as possible because this would reduce the chance of me making mistakes. Or I would just avoid having conversations in Spanish completely. Now, this was really bad because there was no way that I was going to learn Spanish and become fluent by avoiding making mistakes because you actually learn by making mistakes. I changed my mentality completely. Making mistakes was not my enemy anymore. And this opened me up to having way more conversations in Spanish. I was facing my insecurities head on. Another great habit that helped me become fluent in Spanish was asking questions and asking questions when I was having conversations with native Spanish speakers. I was like a little kid. How do you say this word? Why do you write that sentence in that way? Why did you use this word instead of that word? How do Mexicans express themselves? When do you start saying buenas noches instead of buenas tardes? What is the difference between amar, querer, and gustar? Do they do that in all Spanish speaking countries? The more questions that I asked, the less confused that I was and the more in-depth knowledge that I had of the Spanish language always having a desire to learn something new. This habit was very necessary because there was no way that I was going to become fluent in Spanish if I had the mentality like, okay, I don't have to learn anything new in life because I already know everything. I already have a college degree. Why should I learn something new? I don't need to learn new vocabulary. I don't have to learn about Hispanic culture. Why would I do that for? 
This drive that I had to learn something new in the Spanish language helped me to not stay at the same level and open many doors of opportunities to learn the Spanish language more deeply. I hope these habits that I have developed throughout my Spanish learning journey will help you become fluent in Spanish as well. If you are fluent in Spanish right now, let me know in the comment section below what were the habits that helped you become fluent. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to share this video with your language learning friends.